Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number six, and we're going up against an alliance called Taco Corp. So I have looked over my paths, and the team that I standardly go in with is what I'm going to go in with this time as well. Uh, nothing that I saw on my paths. Um, I saw a couple of minis uh, that I might be able to take if I am called upon to do so. All right, so I'm the first one in uh, on this left side. You can see they did not place a defender on this first node. Thank you. Uh, it means I have uh, less fights to do. And I came back, and you see Black Cat just finished uh, clearing his node. So now I'm the last node, and I go in. And of course, I'm going to go in with Warlock. When I looked and I saw an Iceman on that path, I'm like, okay, my Warlock should be able to handle it. We're good. Uh, with Warlock, as you will see, I don't have to worry about his Cold Snap, Frostbite, anything like that. So I'm not taking any of that damage that's all so fun to take. So Warlock does well. I put an Infection on him, and we're just tearing him up. I still want my Warlock awakened, though. At this point in time, if my Warlock were awakened when he puts that infection on them, he actually does some degen damage as well. So having him awakened uh, gives him more damage. And I'm seriously considering uh, awakening him with a, a gem. You know, I, have, uh, I don't have a tech awakening gem, but I do have a uh, generic. So um, I waited to see... You know, if someone else wanted to take that Doc Hawk, they had a better option. And I believe uh, my alliance mate has a Corvus. And that is a tech charge for Corvus. So that's why I don't just run and go do it. Because I would have taken him with my Warlock. Uh, but I would have robbed him of uh, his tech charge. So I just waited. He got it down. Now, this first fight in Section 2, little concern because... She can be very tricky to fight. And then you have that strike counter, uh, which is the power one. And if you don't know how that works, you have certain actions that have a number of counters. For example, heavy has, I believe, two counters. So if I do two heavy attacks, that counter goes down to zero. And I get a suppression uh, debuff or, or whatever uh, on me that reduces my uh, combat power rate. So I, I generate less power when I'm hitting them, okay, and getting hit. Uh, so you can see I am taking this fight seriously and boosting up. Now, one of the reasons that I use those boosts, I also check the loyalty store. And if they have one of those in the store, then I'll just go ahead and use it. And then when the, fight, when the uh, war is over, I'll go ahead and replenish my stock. Uh, but in any case, so we're going in here and the thing you want to do with her is, um, heavy attack. Okay. Now that digit cloak is on cooldown, as you see there, and I'm free to attack her and you have to keep track of that. Her special one is going to reduce your, uh, power, even if it doesn't hit you, which is so annoying. Uh, so that combined with the node meant that I was going to have some serious power issues. But, you know, I try to block those. And don't ask me what happened there. Just messed up. Um, but I try to block her special one because that reduces the power that she drains. Uh, if you evade it, she actually drains more power. I uh, don't know if you, uh, you guys knew that. Uh, so you can see how I'm playing. You can see that I have no power whatsoever. Okay, see the suppress, suppress off to the left there? That's because of the node. Uh, look up at the top, and you'll see that I have two of them. Uh, I believe I have all three now uh, at zero counter. So I get no power. Okay? And to reset that, you need to fire a special. How are you going to fire a special when you got no power? Right? So that's the hole that you can box yourself into on this node. Um, but we got her down, and we didn't die. Not the prettiest but we got it done. Uh, in hindsight, uh, one of the things that uh, kind of 
messes me up a little bit is that I run suicides. And as a suicide runner, you don't want to fire a lot of specials. But on these nodes, you want to fire specials to keep resetting that counter so that you'll have power for your fight. So it's kind of, you know, um, not well suited for suicides, or at least that style of play. So now we're going to fight this Doc Ock. Now I'm not too worried about Doc Ock. Okay. Something else that you guys may not know, but you notice that the defense tactic is stubborn. Nick Fury is a stubborn camp uh, champion. Um, he has a uh, control, um, hashtag control. If you look off to the side, every once in a while, you'll see a perfect block come up. That's because he uh, is benefiting from the attack tactic. Okay. So he's actually really good uh, when you're dealing with uh, stubborn. All right. And down goes uh, Doc Ock. So I cleared my paths. I did not fight this mini. Uh, someone else cleared the mini. And we'll come back here in a moment. And you'll see, boom, 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 boom. We're at the boss. And yes, we're going to get a little boss action. And let me tell you something about this fight. This is one of the fights that makes me really dislike what they've done. Now, I already don't like war. But I'm talking particularly about the nodes that they have done and it just makes these fights not fun, okay? So Thing is already a tough defender, okay? I've learned how to fight him. I made a video on how to fight him. I finally get a great counter. Now, Gwenpool is an awesome counter for him, but Nick Fury is also a very good counter for Thing. And this is the boss, so he's already stun immune. And I'm like, okay, you know, we should be able to get him uh, down for a little bit. So I want you to watch how this fight goes, okay? So he's stun immune. I got perfect block chance, but I, I dash back, so now he's indestructible, okay? Look at that, he's indestructible, you know? Look at this, I'm in the corner now, all right? Tried to fight my way out the corner. I can't, I, I evaded that one. I don't know how I did, all right? And he's indestructible, okay? And he's indestructible again. I'm pushing him back a little bit, all right? Try to get the indestructible away. He fires his heavy off, okay? Um, this time he wasn't indestructible. All right, so we got a little bit of damage on him. All right, I tried to rush in there. He intercepted me, but I'm trying to get away from that corner. Okay, all right, and here we go. All right, now that time I evaded well, but then he intercepted me again, and I'm back in the corner. He's indestructible. All right, I fired that special off just to try to get him away from me, and I need him to fire that special because I also have to manage his rock charges. Okay, and then here we go. We got him a little bit. And we got that perfect block chance, you know, for all the good it does us. All right. And now we have to bait out another special. All right. We're in the corner again, but he's just not firing that special. And I don't want him to fire his heavy because I don't know how to evade it very well. He's almost to a special three. All right. I need him to fire the special off. There he goes. Boom. He's indestructible. So all of this doesn't matter. All right. And then he goes un unstoppable because I didn't manage the rock charges and I'm down. I'm just like, are you kidding me that is a nightmare of a fight now there are people that can do this fight much much better than i can okay um so what i decided to do now because of course i didn't fight a whole lot and my omega red he's there and if you remember the last war there's a technique with omega red to interrupt their heavies with your own heavy and that works with Thing. I've not done it. So this is the time. You know, this this no reason for me not to try it. May as well. It's all in on the boss. Uh, I believe at this time we might have been winning. I'm not sure. Uh, but so I go in, boost it up a, a little bit differently, I think. And now I'm like, OK, this should be a little bit better. All right, and then see how I did that? I'm like, okay, this should be good. As long as I can keep doing that, all right, back him off because I don't want to be in that corner again like ha what happened last time, and then boom. Okay, so I'm like, all right, we should be good. This this should, this can work, you know, just try and push him away from me. We still have to worry about the uh, rock charges, okay? 
Um, he's indestructible at this point. Now he's unblockable. We don't want to get hit with that. Okay, still in indestructible. All right, we got away the indestructible. All right, we got away. Boom, boom. All right, so we're back to our uh, plan. All right, want to push him away. Push him away. All right, there we go. Fire up that special two. And I'm like, okay, we're not doing a whole lot of damage because you got to deal with indestructible, uh, things protection. You know, now he's unblockable. You know, it's a good fun time. All right. And despite my best, uh, you know, um, efforts, uh, I'm trying my best to stay out of the corner. Okay. And then here we go. I got the, uh, you know, counter his heavy with my heavy again. All right. And we're just not doing a whole lot of damage to things. Okay. Um, we need to get those spores on him. All right. We need to bait that out. All right. We did. So we cleared his rock charges. I'm dangerously close to that corner again. Okay. And then here we go. Get away. Fire that special two. Get some distance. Boom. Miscalculation. Rock charges. Wham. I'm off my game at this point in the corner. Trying to get away from him. He's unstoppable. It's lights out. I put my iPad down at this point and I said, that's it. You guys can finish him off. I'm done. I do not want to fight him on that node with Stubborn. Again, it's not fun. It caused me a lot of stress and my blood pressure was going up. Okay, not fun. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Alliance War in the first place, but I always try to give it my best effort. So despite how I felt about that fight, you see I'm back in here with Warlock, okay? Um, because I didn't want anyone to say I didn't give it 110% because that is how I am. Uh, but I did not like that fight. It was a horrible fight. Um, I'm pretty sure there are better uh, counters and some people that can solo this guy without any difficulty. I'm not one of them, at least not at this time. Right now, it's too much stress for me, okay? Um, but that's the last fight. Uh, I did not get him down, as you can see. So we'll be back in a moment to find out how we did in this war. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. We've ended our losing streak. Uh, if you watched our last war videos, you know that we lost the last two wars. So maybe we have turned things around after some of the changes that we made. Uh, I noticed that they did not clear one of our bosses, which helped us, of course. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.